Hey everybody, this is your stuttering drummer, John Runner, and welcome to JMFR Drums. This is the first time you're probably seeing me in a long time, like me personally. Um, this is my new space. Look at it. Woo! Look at all the vinyl. I got some cool stuffs, working materials. Don't mind the thing behind the curtain. My work desk, as you can plainly see. And, oh yeah, all my lovely drums. Anyway. Today we are going to look at a new practice pad, and um, uh, it's going to be an unboxing. I haven't opened it. I'll admit I've had it for a hot minute, so I've been anxious to break the box open, and we're going to hop to it. So we are going to unbox this Reflex CP1 conditioning pad. I just cut the tape. Let's see what's inside. I have no idea. Oh, they got me a thank you card. Thank you for your purchase with us. We hope you love the CP1 as much as we love developing it for you. The bubble wrap for freshness and protection. Uh, we know you're expecting blah, 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 blah. Ooh, care and feeding. Ooh. So what makes this pad unique is the same thing that makes it a little bit more fragile than standard rubber gum, silicone, blah, 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 blah. While you don't have to treat it like a newborn baby, there are a few basic things to keep in mind that will assure you that you get years of use out of the pad. The CP1 is a bit softer and more porous than your standard pad. This isn't to say that you need to be precious with it. Just a bit more aware that putting it down on surfaces, etc., both playing surfaces will absorb liquids, and while water will evaporate quickly, in bold, avoid liquids in general as they may, or as they can, co compromise the composition and integrity of the surfaces. Hmm. The Reflex CP1 comes with a 60-day manufacturer's warranty against defects. Blah, 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 blah. However, we, we do not cover damage due to abuse. The good news is that the pad comes with, with its very own lightweight carrying tote. Oh, that's baller! So you'll get some protection from the element. Note that your tote is designed to your carry pad and a, a pair of sticks and some lighter accessories. Don't overload it. Dude, that's so cool! Alright. Other than that, it's really all common sense stuff. Well, at least for us. So, you know, don't stab, cut, etch, drill, poke, or slash the surface. Do not pull the rubber off of the base. Do not try to eat off the pad. Um, you know, this is more for pets and humans below three years of age. Okay. <laughs> Do not play with any stick or accessory that is sharp, pointed, spiky, serrated, or pronged. Do not submerge it in water or leave it outdoors exposed to the elements. Do not use any in big print. Household chemicals cleaners on either surface to clean your pad lightly dampen a lint-free sponge or towel using a soft blotting pattern or a standard clothing sticky lint roller. Do not leave the pad in extreme heat, 90 plus degrees Fahrenheit or extreme cold, negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit for prolonged periods of time. So if you have any questions, please reach out to us at support at reflux.co or any of our social media accounts. Thanks again, the Reflux team. This is so cool. Um, and they're right, that's common sense stuff. <laughs> All right, let's put that aside. <gasps> Here it is. All right. Comes with a cool few things. Okay, wow. So first reaction. This is a lot thicker than I thought it would be. Um, that's what she said. Um, oh, wow, and it's in its own closed, sealed uh, bubble wrap thing. Okay, we'll put that to the side for a hot minute see what else we got. Oh, this is a cool bag. It's a little toady. It's like one of those, oh it is, it's, you know, it's one of those little backpack dillies. Nice. And of course, the ever coveted sticker. Okay, cool, yeah, I like this. Okay, off to a good start. Let's get the box out of the way. Let us rip open this bag of bubble wrap. 
Okay, cool. Oh, I see what they were saying about the porous material. Oh, wow, this is nice. Cool. All right, I'm gonna break down or break out one of my heavy sticks. All right, so, or heavier sticks anyway. This is, all right, so this is, I'm gonna try and explain this to you. I might have to go on the website so I can explain it effectively. So you see that this is textured, it's, as I said, it's very porous, and this is what they call the flex surface, and it is three quarters of an inch thick, and is unique for response, resistance, and feel. Ooh. Okay, so basically, this side, the textured side, from at least from what I can feel, is the side that you would just use as your everyday pad. All right, so first impressions. Um, I mean, it gives a little bit more. It's not just a boop bounce back. You know, it, it gives a little bit more, and it actually feels like. I mean, like it really does feel like I'm actually hitting a drum head which is cool you know it's not just a drum pad I'm actually feel like I'm hitting an actual drum so that's cool this is this is really soft um now this is what they're calling their work surface with two K's um it is half an inch thick and it's slightly thinner than the flex counterpart as you could probably figure out from context clues the work surface is literally just that um Oh my, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So most, all right, so most double-headed practice pads that we got, there's a standard side and a work side. One that has more rebound than the other. This is obviously the one that has less rebound and I can feel it. This feels nice, ooh. I love this pad. <laughs> um, I mean, I can't tell you enough how cool it is. It is very well built. You get the pad. You get a carrying bag. Not a bad one either. You get a little sticker. Also, most importantly, you get a thank you note. Like, it says there, thank you. Watch, 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 watch. Ready? Watch. Dropping. No way. few weeks actually it's been more of a couple months and um, I've used this pad for a while now uh, be it you know warming up before gigs farting around in my office and overall I can honestly say I love this pad like for real real I love this pad this pad is fantastic it's unlike any other pad that I've used and I can honestly say it really works your hands wrists and forearms Using most other practice pads, you kind of, you can kind of predict how it's going to feel as you play it. You know, every single gum rubber practice pad, you've played one, you've kind of played them all, and you've kind of figured out how they're going to feel. 
From the very start, the CP1, uh, the reflex pad, it was completely different. I mean, y'all saw me when I un unboxed the thing. I approached it how I would any other practice pad, and the moment the stick made contact with the pad, I, I was kind of at a loss for words. I could tell that there were certain muscles in my hands that I was not engaging, and then, you know, from there it was just a domino effect, you know, muscles in my hands, wrist, and forearm, and then I started to realize maybe I've been too lax in my grip, maybe I don't have the muscle development that I thought I had, and practicing on this pad, it forced me to realize I need to dedicate time to how I play, how I hold my stick, so that I can get the same amount of strength and force with every single time I use my stick on a drum or on a cymbal. And while we're on the subject of feel, uh, this pad is fantastic for replicating the feel of a tom drum. Most pads are, are really good at replicating more of a snare feel, and that's fine, but the issue with that is that you can crank up a snare head and it's pop, 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 and it can be loud and it can be tight to where you don't need as much force on the s snare drum. But something I've noticed, the moment you move from the snare drum to every single tom around you, you lose power, you lose strength because they're tuned down lower and you're not used to hitting them at that angle where it's, it's not right in front of you, it's more like you have to use more of your body to move around with the rack toms. And what this pad does, it mimics the feel of a tom drum and I think overall that is going to be fantastic for building up strength so that the power and volume that you have with your snare should be more or less equal to the power and volume that you have on your, on your toms. Breaking the fourth wall, I'm in the process of editing this video now and um, looking back at some of the footage of me practicing, I can see, you know, like I have a little viewfinder here on my camera and I could see my face as I was trying to either pick up speed, try a different hand combo on, on the pad, and really like all, all, all the faces that I'm making are 100% real. I'm not hemming it up at all. Like, like the pad really, really kind of showed me my shortcomings and where I needed to build strength. So let's break it down side by side. Right here is the reflex side. As I mentioned probably before, this is the one with the textured side. It's a little bit thicker. And uh, yeah, overall, this is going to be very similar to your standard gum rubber practice pads. Obviously the feel is very different, but this is more or less your standard side of the drum pad. So now your other side is your work side with two K's. And to the touch, it's much softer, but it's very firm. Uh, it's a little bit thinner as well, and I'm going to hold it up. It's not as porous as the other side. And again, looking back at the f footage, you could easily tell this side, once you strike it, it's dead. There's very little bounce, there's very little give. And when they say that it's the work side of the pad, you better believe it. You, you're going to work and you're going to feel things that you didn't even know you, you could feel. You're going to work muscles that you probably forgot you even had. The name itself is very, very accurate. It's a work side and it's going to work you. So let's break down the pros and cons. For pros, um, I kind of feel weird saying this, but they're kind of endless. <laughs> As I mentioned before, you get a wonderful, more plausible feel on how your toms and your drums overall are going to feel when you play this pad. To put this into perspective, when I would sit down on any other regular gum pad, I would usually start around 160-ish and coast. You know, I would do single stroke rolls, double strokes, paradiddles. After like say maybe 5-10 minutes, I can easily push that 160 and maybe start to head up to 180. With the reflex, that dropped significantly, even like not, not even counting the the work side, I'm talking the standard reflex side, um, 
I dropped all the way down to 130 beats per minute and it took a while for me to work up to 150. I could feel how weak my hands and wrists were. Uh, I felt the burn in my forearms. So it really did put a lot of things into perspective and it was a completely different e experience for me. Another pro, it's also pretty quiet. One thing that I think plagues all of us as drummers is that we never really have a safe place to play. We're too loud, the vibrations of the drums are gonna basically destroy your surroundings, and unfortunately not all of us have a safe place to play. A garage, a basement, um, family members that'll put up with you. Rehearsal spaces are expensive. That just leaves us sitting at home with a bunch of pads. Kinetic energy aside, you know, when you strike the pad and the vibration travels from the pad to wherever you have it, be if it's on a kitchen counter, a tabletop, um, your snare drum stand, your pad itself can create a fair amount of noise. If you live with family members, if you live in a small apartment and it's just whack, 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 it's probably not going to go over all that well. Well, I did a little ic experiment. I have a decimeter on, on my phone. I decided one day, you know what? I'm gonna see how loud my two pads can get. I have a double-sided, you know, regular pad with the gum and the harder plastic. And I have my reflex pad. And I decided, you know what? I'm curious, how loud are they? Now, before anyone starts to jump down my throat, I get it. This is not going to be a 100% scientific study. It's not going to be this groundbreaking thing. I tried to cut out as many variables as I humanly possibly can outside noise. I made sure nobody w w was home so that there was little interference as humanly possible. I have my cell phone with a decimeter on it. It is to my left, your right. It is, let's see, w more than an arm's length away, so I'd probably say maybe four or five feet. And I realize this is not a scientific study at all, but it's the best we got. So let's just roll with it, okay? So I'll let it die down. Now this is the harder side. So now we have the reflex pad. This is on the reflex side. This is the standard side. And let's try it out. Let's wait for the meter to go down. This is with the work side.
Now all that said, what about the cons? What about the flip side? Biggest con that I can come up with, this isn't necessarily a pad you can just throw around. If you refer back to the letter, as it said, you don't need to baby it, but it does require a little bit more TLC. Full disclosure, I... a little embarrassed to admit, and I'm probably not the only one, truthfully. Uh, I've used my other pads as food trays, workstations, uh, I've put hot items on there, you know, soup, ramen, coffee. Hell, sometimes I even put my feet up on them. So yeah, so with um, the Reflex, um, I obviously cannot do that any anymore. <laughs> It's soft, you can tear into the material, it can, you know, rip, as the letter said, you know, water, this, that, and the other. So, yeah, I can't use it as a coaster, but then again, I don't really want to. Now you may ask, John, who needs this pad? If you're new and you're just starting out, or if, say, you're a light hobbyist, you jam out every now and then, you don't need this pad. At a $60 price point, there are plenty of great pads out there for 20 to 30 bucks, hell, maybe e even less. You're not going to get a worse practice experience by getting one of those cheaper pads. I still use those cheaper pads and they're fantastic. But if you're a pro, if you're a semi-pro, you got money to burn and you really want to challenge yourself, pick one of these up. You will definitely work your hands, you will definitely build strength, and at least for myself, I've been approaching how I play very, very differently. I've been rethinking my grip and attention to how I hit when I hit. Thank you all so much for, for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, show me some love, show me some hate. I don't care. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you guys again soon. Happy drumming and be safe.